Hey guys, Lynn here and welcome back to another Skyrim mod update video where we are on episode 271 and that means we have five more console mods to look through. Four for Xbox One and only one for PlayStation 4. I mentioned it yesterday that there are only one mod coming out each day for PlayStation and it's still the same. Not a lot of big mods out today either but I will still cover what there is for you guys. If you guys happen to find the video useful and you enjoy it, a like is appreciated and with that being said, let's jump in and look at today's first mod, starting with more evil Shadow Lear. This is a simple retexture mod for the Shadowmere horse. The mod author likes Shadowmere's red eyes, but not the colour of him, so the mod retextures his dark hair colour to crimson instead of black. Now, the mod doesn't alter the colour of Shadowmere's skin to crimson, it's only his mane and tail which are crimson, to make him look a bit more evil. I would like to see him completely crimson, which would be cool, but the mod that you get is still nice. Moving on to our next mod, it's called Pumpkins, another simple mod that adds in over 300 pumpkins across Skyrim to celebrate Halloween. These pumpkins are static, so you cannot pick them up or do anything with them, but they do make for some cool decorations around the towns and cities. And that's pretty much all this mod does. But we do have another mod later on from the same mod author. That brings us today guys with our PS4 mod and it's called the Lawful's Better Weight Scaling. A mod that alters the weight of your characters more during character creation so that you can have more options on how you look in game. I'm showing it to you with armor on as YouTube will 100% demonetize the video if I didn't, which is unfortunate so you cannot get the best showcase of it working, but you can still see the effects more in game. It allows your character to be bigger than they could be in vanilla Skyrim. So guys, we have three small mods there. We're moving on to our fourth mod and it's called the Nightingale Greatsword. This mod adds in the different variations of the Nightingale Sword to Skyrim at the Forge and they are two-handed for your two-handed characters. The two versions are the same, just one has a scabbard, so it's kind of a sheath, and one does not. They can be crafted under the ebony category and therefore need the ebony smithing perk to make them and in terms of damage they do the same as an ebony greatsword. Head over to the grindstone and you can improve them up to fine quality which will add around 7 attack or something it's not too much. Finally none of the weapons are enchanted so you can place whatever you want to on them to improve them. So definitely a cool mod, the nightingale blade has always been one of my favourite looking weapons and now it comes in two handed variations. So guys that just leaves us with our final mod and it's called house of corpses and this one's actually pretty awesome. It's a Halloween town slash dungeon slash quest slash player home and I'm going to tell you guys all about it. So first up if you install the mod head on over to the catacombs in the Hall of the Dead in Whiterun and there you will find a portal to the Halloween town which is a place you can see in the video right now. First off let's go over this part. This area on its own is pretty awesome. The amount of decoration is what makes it awesome. On the right you have a Halloween merchant and there's also an enchanting table here next to some skeletons and other cool decoration. Next to this area is the graveyard yard and there is a coffin there if you want to sleep as a vampire. On the opposite side is a full forge, alchemy station and human cow feeding area in case you are a vampire and hungry, all next to this giant creepy clown with a cleaver. There's a stable with a couple of horses, although it's just for show as you can't actually leave the cell with them. And finally, a small house which has some chests for you to loot on the outside and you have to be able to pick master locks though to get what's inside. That leaves us with the final part of the house itself, the house of corpses. Head inside and you must make your way through this dungeon to start the quest Happy Halloween, at which point the dungeon will spawn loads of monsters for you to slay. And the actual point of the dungeon is to kill all these monsters and make your way to the end. They include dragon priests, skeletons, bone men, giant Daedra, vampire lords, gargoyles, necromancers and many more other creatures will try to kill you as you go. The entire dungeon has about seven large areas to explore, each with loads of enemies and puzzles for you to figure out and to unlock the next area. There are even things like false keys that you pick up and if you get the wrong one it will summon ghostly assassins to kill you. After travelling the dungeon for at least one hour you will arrive at the end which is a cell which can be used as a player home and also has an entrance in and out of Halloween Town so you won't have to travel through the dungeon every time to get inside of here. The final cell itself, the player home, has the following things. It's got three bedrooms, a cooking pot, enchanter, alchemy station, and it has plenty of storage lying around. It's not the most complete player home, but combined with everything else in the mod, it's pretty awesome. I have to say, I was impressed by the amount of detail there is in each of the cells and the entire mod itself, like stack Halloween decorations that are unique, not just the same thing repeated over and over. There are dead bodies everywhere, people have been sacrificed in horrible ways, creepy monsters around every corner. It's definitely a mod I recommend 
recommend you guys try out. It's got some unique and powerful items for you to find along the way, and it is recommended that you play in the dark with the volume up for the scariest experience. So guys, that's about it for today's mods. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you did, a like would be super appreciated. I definitely recommend some of those mods, especially that last one. It was a lot of fun to play through, and it's kind of like loads of different mods in one. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, whether you're going to try any of these mods, or whether you've had a chance to try these mods out already and let others know what you thought of them. But either way, thanks for watching. Stay awesome as always, guys, and I will see you all in the next video.